Most of us have heard about cow tipping. Today, we're gonna to hear about mortgage rate tipping. That story, and I'm gonna go over what that means as well as what are we seeing out there that are getting more people into this market, real estate market. Welcome everyone, my name is Troy. Every day we go over the latest news in real estate, mortgage, and the housing market. Today, fantastic, April 14th, we are gonna go over some really good programs that are out there for you. If you missed that on Dreamer for All, but there's other ones out there, let's get right into it, boom. So CNBC came out and said with my girlfriend, not financial advice, not marital advice, not even girlfriend advice, mortgage rate tipping point, most buyers say 5.5% or lower. We are, it's very interesting that she says this, and of course CNBC says this, because we've been bouncing pretty close to that. Now, later in this show, in this video, we're gonna go over what the rates are, but those rates are national rates. Here in Southern California, you are looking at the high fives, and then in certain programs, you can find it lower. And of course, even though a rate is a rate, what more people are sensitive to is the payment. They wanna make sure the payment is where they, they feel comfortable at in their budget. Now, so let's go ahead and jump into the next one. All right, so I went ahead and said, hey, let's go look up you know, some credit unions. This is, this is schools first, where are they at? Now, these are arms that are out there. I picked you know, adjustable rate arms. A 5-5 five, five arm is what a lot of people have been jumping into. I know I just had a client who closed on a 1.3, uh, 1.365 home and he got a 5-5 five, five arm. I believe he put 10% down on it. Check this out. He run, you know, this is at 5.375 rate. So there's a 5-5 five, five arm, 5.35 rate. We're in the kill zone right now, according to national media. If we even look at a 5-1 arm, it's at five and a quarter. 7-1 arm is five and a half. These rates are all making sense. Now, if you want just a regular 30 year conforming, you're, you're talking about high fives, but we're still there. And of course, with the limited inventory that's throughout the United States, especially here in Southern California, we are still looking at multiple offers and all year long, since the second week of January, we've just seen multiple offers on almost all of the properties that are out there. All right. So what's another alternative besides if, if you were out there thinking, okay, five, five or less makes sense. It brings my payment down. What else can I do to look at? What other products that are out there? Let's go jump to the next one. I pulled this up from Lending Tree. It says the 40 year mortgage, what you need to know. It's very interesting here. 40 year mortgage is like a traditional 15 year, oops, 15, 15, uh, traditional 15 or 30 year mortgage, but offers an extended payment term. If the homeowner remains in the property for the life of the loan and makes the payments as agrees, they'll pay the mortgage off in 40 years. No brainer there, right? We, that's an obvious. But what happens is it lowers the rate, even though the amount of, the amount of uh, interest that you pay over a 40 year is gonna be significantly greater than a 15 or a 30. But these are mortgages that you get into. Get into that lower rate and then look for the time to exit out of it when you see mortgage rates drop. Now, I know a lot of you out there and I know a lot of the media keeps talking about and stock markets and crypto markets are all like, oh, the Fed's about ready to stop raising rates and they might even turn. I don't think we're there yet, but I do think that somewhere in the Q4 of this year or Q1 of next year will be somewhere in the fours. And with that being said, the 40 year rate is your crutch, right? It gets you, it's a bridge. It's really a bridge loan to your real loan, right? You get into it, you get that low rate. You could also do that with the arms as well, okay? But at least with the 40 year, if something doesn't happen properly and rates stay high, you still know that you're not gonna adjust somewhere in the future. Uh, with a 5-1 with a, a arm, it, it, it'll adjust a little every year. A 5-5 five, five arm, just every five years. So it's these are all bridge loans to get to that, that promised land, that fours and threes that we expect sometime in the near future within the next, I'm talking about eight, eight nine months to the next two or three years. We should see those back again. And if they are, again, just think of it that mindset that way. Now guys, hey, if you like the content, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, boom, boom. If you're out there looking for property as well, you can hit, and you're a buyer, 
you know, grab my buyer's guide down below. I know it's, it's completely in depth. You know, I, it's a lot of reading through, but we did make it so intense because if anyone that wants to read through it and wants to know every single bit about the, the mortgage purchasing process, well, that guide will actually go through it all for you. All right, and let's jump into the last thing here. Optimum Blue, This is these are the nationwide rate averages. We again saw 30 year conforming. It fell under 6.3, fantastic. And there's FHA. They're about the same. They, it went down five basis points as well. So we're seeing that, you know, if it's conforming, conventional or FHA, we're seeing it drop. You know, the, the jumbo looks like it's going up as well as the 15 year conforming. Doesn't really make any sense at the moment at all. I mean, it doesn't make sense at all, you know? So, well, thank you guys very much for joining me today. If you have any comments, please leave them below. I know that I know a lot of you are out there are continually asking about the dream for all. Is it coming back? Well, I say go ahead and email Gavin Newsom. Tell me you want your two hundred million dollars back and put it back in the fund and stop blowing it on whatever you're blowing it on and get that money back into buyers hands. It's absolutely ridiculous to think that the state of California, which has like the fifth largest economy in the world, the sixth largest economy in the world, has a huge population and we only got you know, 2,300 or 2,400 people in this program and we got them homes. There's still probably 10, 20,000 people that are just chomping at the bit and we need to get that money released. If this money was earmarked for that program. All right, I'm done with the soapbox. I'm done with the, the Friday rant. It is time to go ahead and have a adult beverage and enjoy my weekend. You guys take care and I will see you on Monday.